Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome on back to Nightingale Realms Rebuilt. And when that's left off, we need to speak to Puck because I think we're up to taking on the boss for this first area in our walkthrough slash guide. Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate, and this fay you have pleased. With shelter overhead and tool in hand, you've proven yourself ready. Now attend me. Built over the heart of this realm lies a site of power. Long ago, it was named and sealed by your kind. But longer still, it housed the knowledge of the Empyrean Network. What awaits is no simple task. A monument of such magic attracts the weak like flies to sweetest honey. And the realm's heart has ways of making lambs into lions. Take these elixirs. Ooh. Seek the sight of power, and overcome whatever guardians await within. Then thou shalt obtain the final key to lands unknown. In other words, we will get out of this realm. So he gave us a cure potion, which gets rid of... Poison, and... Great environmental. That one we'll probably put in our thing. Um, okay. All right, so where you got to go is right there. The abeyance of power. Let's see where is that? Okay. Got my guy all tripped up just like we did in the last episode. So I'm get fully geared. Ooh, free meat. And that gold is critting. But we still got a few things to unlock. We want to make sure that we're killing what we can when we can. But I'm going to haul the ass all over there, so we'll hold on. All right. Ooh, God, look at all the spiders. No, nope, we're just going to go right through. Ignore those guys. And this is kind of confusing, but... Shouldn't be too bad. You will need your umbrella. There we go. And when heading in... Always make sure you have your highest tiered weapon in your hand, because that will raise your gear score. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna go all the way out here? One reason I'm doing this is because I need As much of that as I can so we can finish unlocking it. Okay. And then there's a whole bunch of glass. And anytime you see barrels like this, you want to smash them because there's a bunch of stuff in them. We've got to find all of those. Let's see, we'll need a pickaxe if I remember. Yep. You always want to look for cracks in the walls. They hide stuff and they are shortcuts. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I can't tell if that's a crack up there. Oh, I don't think it is. All right, going up to the second floor. Finally got all those stupid little things.
We got gems, lumber, coal, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Is that me? Or does it sound like something just moved up on the other side? Do something here. Hey, dude, I need to give you stuff. card again or that cure potion ink glass slate Close it, going over it twice. Okay. Now, this is going to take us to the next area. Got, I think, hearts and stuff to go after first. Yep, got to get up there. That's not the one to hit first. Oh, it's not good standing in here either. That's okay. We got plenty of health. Nice. Just make that. Make it. Make that money. These guys are easy money. Come here. Shit at me, sir. That wasn't the one that hit first. Let's try... No, I guess not. 
guess we'll try that one. Oh, let's get out here. Stand right here and kill them as they come. And this is like one of the few spots where you can do this game wise. No, I mean, this area, we're going to be getting a lot nastier stuff in the next area. I see where there's a problem. Oh, okay. There was a heart here and he got it. Okay. Okay, now I got to get back on top. Um... Okay, so it looks like it says, now can you set that off with that? Yes, you can. If you're curious, the reason for this is because we have a bunch of stuff in here we need to unlock. I do have most of it, but going forward, we're going to like need Charm Bobble. We're going to need that for all the upgrades because when we go into a new section, we get a new tier of essence and... Oh, fill up. This is pretty easy. You just have to stand here. Of course, it's going to start sending stuff after us, so we'll be fighting for this. Anyways, like I was saying, we've got a lot to unlock still. Oh, we'll take all that. What do you think you want to do a quick run around and look for chests? Because you never know. Oh, cool. There's no nodes down here. Mining. Okay, now we get into the boss fight. Okay, doesn't tell me I got anything going, but...
that crap later. He's going to drop these mushrooms that if you hit them, they jack you up. And he's going to jump back and forth and all over. And we've got to figure out. What is what? Or which one is which? I like going after the middle guy. And he blows up and does that. If it's not the right one. God, I see, and these things are like almost impossible to get through without them jacking you up too. No, I completely picked all of them wrong. Might think, yeah, you can do this, but yeah, he keeps more and more every time he does a route, more and more things. Ah, so maybe not worth this one. We're lucky. Nope, not lucky. Slows you so he can just light you up. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he's down on the ground. Oh, wow. I hadn't seen him do that before. Dime of oh he disappeared. I wanted to skin him. Good job, dude. Okay. So real quick. What do we all we got? Lumber, quartz, coal. Now once everything's been done, all the uh, mushrooms disappear. So oh, let's see. Nope, nothing up there. Uh-oh, I'm getting too heavy again. Uh-oh. I'm going to wind up. Let's see. And we got a lot of crap. Always get your trophy. Fable bone, hide, and meat. Okay, that's all. And it's as fast as we can move right this second. That's okay, we just gotta go back to our base. Or wherever he tells us to pop next. It's not difficult. Oh, really? I can't even jump? Okay. Hey, come here, homegrown. Let's see. That should do it. Yep. Bayon Science of Power. This is our first realm card.
uh, in the story. All right, one sec before we go any further. I need to go and put everything in my inventory, so give me a sec here. Alrighty, folks, got the old inventory settled. Ooh, you know what we do need to do is repair all. And progression. Want to make sure that we've got everything we need for the tier two stuff. Good stamina region. That never hurts. We got potions still. And the one that I'm not real worried about. You know, let's do. Oh, okay. This guy wants that one. But beyond that, there's not really all that much. The hunger drain, that's just useless. Oh, that might be decent. And I don't do anything unarmed. Look at that, they don't have doors. Well, they have a door, but this is the only door you can put in. All right, so we got everything unlocked. Good to go. Now we're ready to head into the next area. Oh, well done. Well done. You've proven yourself worthy of the title Realmwalker. Though I did smirk watching from the shadows. I was pleased to see that my gifts were not wasted on me. Assurances in hand, press onward. Awaken one of yonder portals where a storied realm awaits, known to me by many names. Your kin, however, call it Sylvan's Cradle. Fear not the road ahead as I shall preserve your passage as best as I am able. We, too, are conspirators now, and my aid remains yours. With luck, you may find ways to open further portals and mend the Empyrean network entire. Now I've led you about around, through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar. The next steps are yours. There are yet more of your kin in these wilds. Lost refugees, strangers to these fey wilds. So too are there more seasoned realm walkers, who might point you toward Nightingale better than I. Go then, and tread on toward that which is boundless beyond the measurable. All right. Takes it a set for it to come up. I'm just standing here in the rain. Can't wait till we get a handgun. That's the other perfect thing to roll with us. 
Looks like we need some chow. And this first realm, depending on how it spins up, we might have negative things against us. All right. This is permanently open. You don't have to worry about guys coming to attack you or anything else. And behind us, you see trees. See those? That is one kind of tree you can get in this area that will give you bonus things. Now, down here, we've got two cards. Let's see, your health regeneration is being decreased. And then your melee damage is slightly increased. And all our food just disappeared on us. All right, so there are a bunch of quests right here. Cave. A steel of might. Infestation. I think it's over this way. Let's see. If I remember right, you can reach it just by flying. Oh, there it is. That did not work out quite the way I wanted it to. There's a thing on this. Ah, uh, there's that right up on that upper story there. I don't know if you can get up there from inside. Is the reason I'm doing this though. All right. Our first tier two essence. So how do you use it in your progression system? You go into tier two. And by far the most important first thing is gonna be our refined workbench because that way we can get uh, all refined tools. But that is going to be part, see, and we've got to get just enough here. Now, to start leveling up, because we've got to now go through and level up all of the progression again. So, in between episodes, I'm going to go hit a couple of infestation sites. Right here are quests. And then that is the main quest. Over there, those quests. These quests are fetch quests, so it's either help them build stuff or go kill stuff. And we'll do one of them uh, in the next episode. So you want to make sure you tune in for that. As always, keep your heads down, your warriors of doom up. And I and Francis will see you again real damn soon.